Hey everyone, it's Melody Lane, and I wanted to show you how to make some labels, writing on the labels. I need to make some for my thank you cards to send out. So let's get started. I'm going to insert images, and I'm going to go use the filter and flourishes and shapes. And what do I want? Um, oh, there's banner. I was looking for that the, last night in the video. Hmm. Tags and labels. That's what I'm looking for. I was looking for labels, but it's tags and labels. So let's see. I just want something simple. And I just want single layer, so I'm going to click on single layer also. I don't need extra layers. Okay. That one's I'm subscribed to. And I only have a subscription for two weeks, so I'd rather have one that I own. And I don't want one with a score mark. I could actually just go in and type in rectangle or square. But I'd rather have something with a little. Extra. Mm -hmm. This one says purchase. It's creative cards. Let's go ahead and use this. And there is no shadow or anything, so that's good. And I want to turn this 90 degrees, so I'm going to go over here, type in 90, hit enter, and there we go. And this is also about the size I want. Let's hit the grid lines. This is going to be a return address for me. Let's make it just a little bigger. Okay, now let's choose the text. Okay, and of course this is way too big. We need to change the font. I want a writing style font, so I'm going to click all fonts. And I'm going to say with the writing style. Mm -hmm. And we can choose, see what these look like. Mm. I can scoot those together. I don't know if I like it though. What's Batman look like? No. Birthday bash. I'm going to have to remember the ones I like. I don't like that one, but I might have to go with the billionaire one. No. Oh, 
wonder if it'll let me use the Anna Griffin ones. I'll have to pay for them, but if I like them, I'm willing to buy it. Ooh, kind of like that one. Let's move them back apart a little more. Huh. I kind of like it. Okay, that's this one. That one will cost me $4.99 because I do not own the Anna Griffin cartridge. Teardrop. No. Kind of like this one. All right. Let's see what happens. First, let's make it smaller. Like way smaller. Oh, and I think I'm going to have to have to do this before. Put that on the next line. There we go. And if you wanted your letters centered, like if you weren't doing an address, you can just click this align right here. Hmm, I kind of like it. And the addresses are usually like this. Oh, and here's the sizing in point. This is what's usually used for fonts. Let's put this up here. Okay, now if I want this, if I hit put this here. Well, if I hit go, it's going to put it on two different mats. One for cut, one for writing. It's going to be different. So I'm going to hit this and here's the layers. Have this layer selected and I'm going to hit shift and click this layer. It only let me do it over here. So I'm going to hit attach. Uh, I'm going to change the color. I don't want silver. Let's go with jade. And the color of this is going to be white. So it's going to look like that. Okay, so I got this and I'm going to hit go. And it puts one on there. And I can fit more than that. Let's try this. See how it fits. I know I can fit four more. Because I'm not using a whole 8.5 by 12 paper. Or 12 by 12 paper, I mean. I'm using 8.5 by 11. Wonder, yeah. Okay. I know I can add two more. I have my paper going all the way over here to 11 and down to 8.5. So I think I can put two more over here. If I turn them sideways. See how this line went to red? That means these won't fit on there the way they were. But they will fit like that. So that's how you can add a few more on there. You know, they'll fit. And these will all be on the map because this outer line is yellow. Okay, now I have to go to purchase. And it already has my information in here because I put it in here once before. And this is where I could buy the monthly or yearly, but I don't want that. So I still have it. But this one is not included. I have to enter my password.
Your order has been completed. Okay, now let's change from purchase to go to go. Okay, now it says to load my mat. And I have my paper already on my mat. Now it's telling me to use the jade pen in the clamp. So I have the scoring tool in the clamp. So I'm going to take that out, add the jade pen. This is a fine tip pen. And you just push it in until you cannot see that arrow anymore. Until it clicks and then click the shut and I have my setting on cardstock this is cardstock it's probably light cardstock but I'm just gonna leave it and hit go so it's doing the writing first It's lifting up for each letter, and I'm wondering if I would have welded the letters together, it probably would not be beeping and lifting up as it is. And I think I could have also made those smaller. It even writes sideways. It has such better handwriting than I do. It's writing it exactly how I have it on the mat. Now it's going to cut. Unload the mat. And look how good it looks. You see? It all out. I 
could have made these much smaller also for return addresses. Isn't that cool? I love it. It's much better writing than I can do. I think next time I'll make them smaller. Because these letters could totally be smaller. And the whole thing could be smaller, but I'm going to use these. And just put some adhesive on the back. Probably I could stick it through my X or use my adhesive gun. Alright guys, now I want to make a label to send to somebody. And I want to use the same thing here. So I'm going to click on this and hit duplicate. Now I want to take off my address, so I'm going to hit detach. So now that is, let me see, okay, I'm double clicking that and it will bring up the address and now I'm going to do a different address. Okay, let's just do that for now because I'm not going to give you out his address. He'd be a little upset. So that's all you do. And I wonder if you can change. Yeah. It looks like I can change the letters, the writing again. All right, guys. That's it for this video. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one.